Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is the Guided Fate Paradox for the Sony PlayStation 3. Good stuff. Okie dokie. Yeah, what did I just pick up? Picked up, oh, a sleep orb. I haven't been using the orbs yet. Uh, face the appropriate way. And do battle! Oh, he missed. Nicely dodged, Lord. <laughs> oh, sleeping. He's sleeping. Here we go. Oh, man. Critical. Yeah, die. Oh, man. See, I, I sometimes wonder if I should try retreating. Yeah, she'll just kill it anyway. <laughs> she'll kill it. Uh, okay. Let's see. Looking at the map here. Multiple paths. Ah. Uh, I don't like not being able to see where I'm going. Oh, dead end. Wow, really? Just a... Yeah. Oh, I can be I can be up here, though. Huh, isn't that something? I don't like these dead ends paths, man. Ugh. <laughs> uh, no. I'm getting... Oh, I'm getting hungry. My energy... Uh Oh, I walked right into that brie. I'm just gonna regular attack. Pistol whip! Pistol whip! Man, you got better magic than me. When I'm done this mission, I hope I have, like, a lot of, you know, gold pieces and such. So, you know, so I can do a lot of stuff. I want to be able to, uh, you know, get a lot of... Equipment. I want to upgrade, man. You know. Buka. Oh. Oh, they're awake now. I wonder when I and I say when, not if. When I get attacks that are gonna take care of like multiple enemies. Hmm. She's running out of SP. Now I could do this and replenish. The SP, but that's gonna affect my energy even more, and my my energy is kind of getting down there. Oh man, the tutorials! I listened. Now I have items right now, like uh, medicinal herbs. This can hmm. this can help me a little bit, but that's for my HP, yeah. Nothing here. Oh, there's a bad guy, but we'll go to the next floor and we'll see where this story of Cinderella will take us. Hey, folks, I bet you never thought in a million years you'd be watching a Day of the Usher walkthrough. And in this walkthrough, I would be encountering Cinderella and it would be her tale, but in a very different way. The mortal Liliel brought to us. No matter how I look at it, he is too plain. There is no way he will succeed. Sad times, but I agree. He's so naive. I think we need to take him somewhere private and educate him properly. I don't think badly of him or anything. We're cut from the same cloth, really. He's not acting all holier than thou, you know. I do not see what any of that has to do with his ability to complete this mission. Our purpose is not to live together and become best buds with that mortal. Our task is to make a complete and almighty god in order to enter the holy, epic, decisive battle against them. Well, yeah, of course. I, I know that. Still, it wouldn't be any skin off my nose if we explained things to him as equals. If it's dumb old me, whatever. But aren't we keeping too many secrets from God and that newbie Liliel? If we want to have God defeat them, we need to explain the situation properly. <laughs> a runaway like you giving your thoughts on how we have done things? You are wet behind the ears yet, too. Have you not learned that your home was destroyed first because of that very same brash foolishness? How dare you! Oh, what is the matter? All I spoke was the truth. OK, 
Okay, my lovelies. Let's leave it at that. Your big sister will not allow any fighting. But if you simply cannot say no... I will gladly scold you both with my fists. How does that grab you? <laughs> what good little girls. So, let us go take a nap together. I'll pass, thanks. I shall also decline. Sleeping under the same sheets as you is tantamount to suicide. Well, what do you know? We actually agree. When I wake up, I might be stripped completely naked or something. There's no telling what she'd do to me while I'm sawing logs. <laughs> Would you like me to spoil the surprise for you? Keep it to yourself. I know. Maybe I could invite our little god. He has such an adorable, squishable face. I could just gobble him right up. You say that whenever you see a male mortal. Stop eating such rotten fruit. Unless you enjoy having irritated bowels. My, my. <laughs> if you want to speak to me like that, shall I show the boy the notebook about your dark past? Perhaps I could read it to him as a bedtime story. Then again, we might roll around from laughing too hard <laughs> and get no sleep at all. As expected of a former devil, not only will you say indecent things, but you also will not hesitate to act indecent. Shall I go and cry for that kid's help? I will put on my puppy dog eyes and say, Big brother, Cheryl's a meanie. Scold her! Uh, it's not cool to bust out the little sister character when it's convenient for you. The souls of 108 stars of destiny dwell within my inner space world sanctum. <laughs> Whenever the imprinted mark on my left eye glimmers, none can resist my wiles. Not even God. Indeed. After all, my second title known across the universe is Bind Snatcher. I can't deal with your second name mumbo jumbo anymore. Just go commit yourself and enjoy a nice padded room. <laughs> when all's said and done, you two have such explosive chemistry. How'd you come to that conclusion? Jeez. I feel sorry for God to be worshipped by people like you. Is it just me? Or are there more aberrations than before? The scales of life and death for this story are teetering. Even the famous tale of Cinderella has grown desperate. A way to grant Cinderella's wish while still protecting her classic story. If only I can find a way. He who chases two rabbits shall catch neither. It is wonderful to be so kind, but please be careful not to drop the ball, as they say. <laughs> Whoever came up with that rabbit proverb should just fall right down to hell. I'll save them both. I mean, what's the point of God if he can't do such a trivial thing? If that's how it is, then I quit. Oh, Lord! I... I understand. If you are so determined, then know that I will follow you to the ends of the Earth! Uh... <laughs> Uh, so we had a cutscene. I thought it was gonna be with Cinderella, and I don't know, maybe the next scene would be her at the ball, but things probably would be going a little differently than we recalled. Uh, but no, that, that didn't happen. There was no ball. 
there there was no ball at all. There was a cutscene with the the other angels, you know, the other the angel chicks, and uh, they were they were conspiring. They they were conspiring. Oh no! Oh, there's baddies. They were conspiring against me. Uh, in a lot of different ways, and I don't know which one was was worse. Uh, uh, the the redheaded chick who what used to be a devil now, and then there was the little one who you kind of got the uh, the creepy vibes from from the first time you saw her when she introduced herself because she did the creepy smile face thing. So you're like, oh, there's something weird about that, but maybe she was just gonna be that weird little girl anime character that was creepy and and kind of evil and the whole mischievous thing. But no, I think this is going far too far too out there and that things are getting really weird and crazy now and I don't even want to discuss what was going on with all that talk and sleeping underneath the sheets what does that even mean what's happening what's going on I thought we were just doing a thing about Cinderella and and I, I didn't sign up for this man this is just getting too crazy <laughs> I just thought we were going to play a dungeon crawler RPG and then Cinderella's introduced, but now these chicks are crazy. They all have vendettas and, they are, and their own ideas about how they want to go about that. I don't know, it seems like they have their own agenda, basically. And, uh, yeah, they all seem to be evil. I guess that green-haired chick, eh, I guess she's the, the less evil out of the bunch. And then there was a lot of talk about things that we don't know yet, that we aren't aware of. And maybe even uh, Liliel here, you know, this newbie, she's a new angel, right? So she's kind of like, she's naive like me, like Renya, you know? Okay, next floor, uh, Cinderella time? I don't know. How wonderful! I am touched, Lord! And actually, this is the dungeon results here. We won! Floor's cleared. Your level. Uh, total level. Uh, is that good? Did I do good? Is that a good result? Eh, I think it's I think it's good. Solid. What's gonna happen to Cinderella? have done very well today, Lord! Huh? But I didn't grant Cinderella's wish yet. True. We have only completed the first half of our dangerous mission. Since this is a rank one wish, the machine is set to allow you to return here once at the halfway point. It is a kind gesture by the Fate Revolution Circuit to our inexperienced god. How kind. Now then, allow me to explain the systems at work inside the Fate Revolution Circuit. When you clear a dungeon within the machine, your level will revert back to one, no matter how strong you became while inside. What? So I did all that insane training, but I have to start all over each time? Worry not, Lord. The more you train and raise your level, those levels will be added to your total level count. The higher your total level, the higher your base stats will become. So even though you are back to level one, you are stronger. I see. So even though the display shows my level as one, the training is still valid on the inside. Yes, that is why you may feel free to dive into the dungeons and raise your level. With enough repetition, your base stats shall gradually rise. And in both name and in actuality, you will become an almighty god. So my handy-dandy manual says. Got it. I thought the Fate Revolution Circuit only existed to answer prayers and wishes, but it has that function too. Quite an ideal system to raise a half-assed god like me. Um, any 
Anyway, Lord, once you feel prepared for the latter half of our journey, please come talk to me. Okay, got it. I nearly forgot! Since you have cleared a dungeon for the first time, Lord, I have a pleasant announcement to make. What kind of pleasant announcement? You shall see. There exists a way to increase your stats by using the divine equipment found in the dungeons. As for the amazing name for this mechanic, we call it Body Modification! Body Modification? You, you sound way too excited about doing some kind of creepy surgery on me. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Do not misunderstand my glee. This is a way to increase your abilities as God. Not literally change your anatomy. Allow me to explain. Please, come this way. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this one, but I don't think I have any other choice. Okie dokie, Lord. I shall now explain our modification services. I had no idea such a place existed here. It looks like some kind of puzzle or corn maze or something. What is it? This is your handy dandy Divinogram. It is our secret weapon meant to strengthen your body, Lord. Huh? So you'll power me up with this? Indeed we shall. The Divinogram and your Mind Lord share a very close link. By customizing and modifying the Divinogram, you will be able to power up both your body and your mind. Seriously? This sounds more like something a shady, evil organization would be involved in. Not at all! This is a sanctified process that has been passed down through ever so many tribes. Please rest assured. Let me explain the basic strengthening technique, which is powering up through the use of holy icons. During the modification ceremony, you place such holy icons onto the divinogram in locations of your choosing. I place... holy icons? I mean, what? Well, you may have experienced this by now. When a divine equipment reaches 100%, it reaches burst status, correct? Yeah, I guess that's something that may or may not have happened to me at this juncture. Of course I am correct. Anyway, when a divine equipment bursts, it creates a holy icon element. I have prepared one for you. Try placing this attack strengthening element on the divinogram. Um, okay. Please be gentle. I don't really like needles and scalpels and blood and pain. Hush, Lord, do not be a baby. Call up the menu with the triangle button and choose Implant Holy Icon. From the list that displays next, please choose the attack element I have ever so kindly supplied. Now place it in an open tile. Okay, I get it. Not to repeat your verbatim or anything, but I open the menu with the triangle button, choose Implant Holy Icon, and from the list that displays next, Pick whatever holy icon element I want and put it on an open tile. Yes, you certainly seem to understand. You have now placed a holy icon, Lord. That's the entire process? Isn't that way too easy? It didn't hurt at all. That is it. 
What makes holy icons so lovely is that they make it easy for you to grow stronger and stronger. Please look at the bottom left of the screen. Your attack has increased from plus zero to a very respectable plus one. Also, not only do your base stats rise from this, but when you level up, your stats will receive a boost per level gained as well. Wow, so it has long-term effects too. Sounds a lot more effective than just grinding my levels over and over. Indeed, stats strengthened through this modification process will not reset even if you faint in a dungeon. That's awesome. I guess I'll start powering up by using holy icons then. This holy icon placement ceremony can be performed using four core elements. Attack elements give you more attack power. You can deal more damage to enemies. Defense elements gives you better defenses. You will take less damage from enemies. Hit is your accuracy and critical hit rate. You will hit more often and become more likely to hit extra hard. Speed is your evasion rate. You will elude enemy attacks easier. All four of those sound equally important. Attack, defense, hit, and speed, huh? Mwah! Ah, it seems you are getting into this. When we finish the Holy Icon Ceremony, there is one thing you must keep in mind. When you place Holy Icon elements, you can only put them in tiles adjacent to icons you have already placed. You cannot put a Holy Icon where there are no other icons or elements around. Please be careful of that. Okay, so I can't toss them anywhere I want. Keep them grouped together. Got it. That concludes the explanation that my manual has. I believe doing it will help you the most. So please, accept these. Please place these holy icons as you see fit. Nice. Thank you. I'll give it a shot. So it's up to me now. Ah, uh, by the way, who's thinking Final Fantasy XII? I don't know, maybe another game's coming to you that's, I don't know, more relevant to this process? Uh, it really kind of, you know, speaks to me as Final Fantasy XII leveling up, you know, learning the abilities and, you know, that whole menu. Of Final Fantasy XII, you know? So I have some of them right now, uh, R2 for the details. Okay. Toggle display. Divinogram. By the way, yeah, you can see the little, uh, you can see a little description for the characters. Typical second year high school student. Became a god by winning a shopping mall lottery. Now he must guide all kinds of different fates. And that's interesting, we're only like halfway done the whole Cinderella chapter. Anyway, okay, uh, am I selecting stuff right now? Non-effective, holy icon. All right, uh. Can I, can I select anything right now and this? Ah, okay, here we go, uh, implant holy icon. All right, so we have four attack tiles. Do they go over the golden statue thingy there? Okay, now we can, uh... This is a god energy source that's selected, okay. Okay, you can't place it on those things. <laughs> I don't know if I was listening to that thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't place it on top of that unit. So, uh... Oh, there you go. Body Modification Newbie, that's me. So we can kinda stretch out here. I can go, yeah, I can go that way too because, because you're gonna wanna get to these other gold statues. 
Oh, and there's stuff along the way, too. Like, look at all that stuff. It's kind of like traveling in a path, I guess you could say, right? Traveling in a path. You want to get to a couple places. I guess I'll, I'll put this one here, and I'll equally go towards the left and downward right. And there's nothing really behind me. Uh, there you go. So I got zero left. Okay, all right. I think I'm getting the hang of this. And then you got uh, the attack, defense, the speed, the, the hit. All right, cool, Brit. And body modification. I have an update, Lord. The blacksmith has opened his shop. At his shop, you can strengthen equipment that has reached burst status. If you have the divine funds, please try it out. The name change shop has also opened. You can change your equipment's name at that shop. You will surely love your favorite items even more with a personalized name. Yeah, that depends. Does it cost money? <laughs> The music costs money. I don't want to... I, I, I gotta tell you, not right now. I don't want... Right now, I do not want to purchase the music. I don't know. Maybe at some point. But I need the cash, Brit. I need the cash. 480 gold pieces. I wonder if off the clock, perhaps I should dive back into that dungeon. You know, I'm not going to do anything that's crucial to any of the story or anything else that's going to be happening in this game. And if that happens, switch off. You know, because we are going to show it all, man. But any, you know, repetitive type task that can be done off the clock, I'll do off the clock, like leveling up a little bit, you know, uh, getting some more gold pieces so I can stock up on equipment. I'll show you that, though, and I'll show you these new uh, store locations. That really just kind of says to me, like, a uh, whole Final Fantasy XII leveling up system there. I don't know, maybe like a combination of that and... Another game that's either not coming to me or maybe one I haven't even played. And maybe you've played a game that's even more similar to that than the example I got with Final Fantasy XII. And if you do, leave me a comment. Let me know. I don't know. This game is opening up. There's Cinderella. There's crazy angel bitches. And there's a whole world to explore as God. But right now, guys, I'm calling it a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of the Guided Fate Paradox. I'll see you guys next time. Next time, I am out.